We can skate because of another quality of ice, its slipperiness. This may seem completely normal, but it's actually very rare for a solid. The reason we can skate is to do with what happens when ice is squeezed by a blade, the way it reacts to pressure. So Andrea Seller and I are going to put ice under a lot of pressure in a classic experiment. Okay, so what we need to do is lift it up and we'll get it onto our platform. It is pretty heavy. Uh, I'm strong, don't worry. Good, there we are. So now we need to uh, unpack things. Oh, that's rather lovely. Oh, it's gorgeous. What if I lift it and you pull? Perfect, that's great. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sling this wire over the top and hang these two really rather heavy weights. We're talking about seven kilos here or thereabouts. And there we go, so it's now suspended. What we now have to do is wait for the pressure of the wire to work its magic on the ice. As we wait, the wire works its way through the ice, almost cutting it in two. And behind the wire, the ice is sealing up again. Something very strange is going on. It's amazing. Look at it. So, has it gone through the ice like this? Well, of course, the wire has the weight on it. And because the wire is very thin, what it does is it applies really quite a large pressure on a local area of the ice. Now, we know that ice expands when it freezes, and so if you squeeze it, then you can actually drive it back towards that molten state. So in other words, when you, when you put pressure on it, it turns it back to water? You can remelt it back to water. That's one of the key reasons we can skate. The pressure of the blades is enough to melt the top layer of ice into water, which lubricates the skates. Friction can also help melt the ice. In our experiment, as the wire passed through the block, the ice sealed up behind. This shows how ice can engulf something solid, leaving barely a trace. I was expecting the, the wire just to cut through it, and it's sealed. It's completely sealed. It looks as if it ought to just fall apart now, and it... It's quite an extraordinary process that effectively, underneath the wire, the ice melts, and then behind it, it refreezes again. So this whole process is actually is making the ice move between those two points on that knife edge between liquid and solid. You, you put the pressure on, that squeezes it, take the pressure off, and then it freezes again. Absolutely. This formidable ability to swallow up another solid is a real insight into just how peculiar ice is.